stupid Joe. Stupid Joe, it's the special show. Oh, wait, because I just said stupid Joe? Yeah. Yeah, the stupid Joe. I'll let you live every other Friday. Downtown Tucson, 11 o'clock, followed by the end of television. Oh. You all know the deal. So tonight we don't have a phone. We just have a bunch of people. It's it's rare, wait, actually. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't we have a phone? Why don't we have a phone? Because it's... Why don't we have a phone? Well, a phone. we I, do. It's just too far away. Eh, eh. But besides yeah. the... Uh, yeah. So we have a lot of people here today. Audience? Hey, Marty. It's your age of Yeah. Yeah. You guys can't see him, but we got tons upon tons, tons of, of people. Tons of people. If we have him walk by, hey, Marty, put on camera it would be years. <laughs> it would be years before they went by. <laughs> I can't even... How long do you think it would take, guys? Camera three. 15 years. 15 years. Ten, TVMAD. I have no idea what that means. What's TVMAD? TVMAD. Like TV mad? Oh, There's the audience. Okay, we lied. Not really 15 years. More like one, two, three, four. What's up, everybody? Come on, audience. Show me some love. Thank you very much. So, this is the Stupid Show. We're going to be showing you some videos. And tonight we have a special presentation. It's going to be done by yours truly, Rory. Woo! I'm Rory Yeah. The Shyster. McNasty. Shyster McNasty are going to do somewhat of a presentation on the classic novel. Uh, of Mice and Of Mice and Men. Of Mice and Men. Mice and men. Mice sorry. And men. But, Rory, you know what you should do? You need to get the tape. I didn't even of what? think it would work. The tape. The uh, recording tape. Oh, the, you know what? They already put the tape, tape in. They already put the tape in. So we're ready to go whenever we have this from Mice and Men thing, right? This is, this right here, this is a camera. I think, I this think is for the internet. How, how, how do you feel about this, this uh, bullshit rumor that the Chupacabra cult has sent members to Access Tucson to infiltrate people? You know what I say? Screw I the Chupacabra cult, because we can't say the F word yet. I don't, I don't think the Chupacabra is a real, uh, a real being. I, you don't think I, it's real? If it, I if think it, it's, if it's, real. it's real. It I believe in ghosts. And it doesn't belong here. I believe in everything. It's Marty. not. It's not from this world. Yeah, I think we're finally gonna if set to rest comment. with this uh, old documentary. The shyster. Um, the cast of the stupid show talked previously about this very topic, and we decided that we will allow them in, but they can only infiltrate Mark. In fact, we use the word penetrate. How, how do you feel about La Llorona? Uh, I, I'm not aware of that. You, you, don't, you don't know anything about the La Llorona, the, the ghost. I, I've not been uh, briefed. They on decided. They decided. What about that? Uh, More audience members. Show us some love. <laughs> audience. All right, La Llorona, as Jesus we were saying. Loves you. What, how do you feel about the conspiracy that uh, Access Tucson is really a front for the Narco Corporation? The no I. You know what? I, I don't know if I should believe it or not. Wait, there's, wait. there's a lot of contributing evidence, but at this time, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to comment any further on this subject because I'm not quite sure which way I should decide yet. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. First off, what is not I, what the is not it's, it's a corporation. It's, it's owned by Nilly Naka. So you don't believe it exists, but see, you know about the thing. Yeah. I, I used to work security I, I, for it's all, It was all just a movie. It was all just a movie, and people take it way too seriously. That's how I feel about you it. You mean like War of the Worlds? Yeah. All right. Do you know what? Actually, when they did that original broadcast in the 40s, it, the War of the Worlds broadcast, everybody thought it was real. There were actually people hanging sheets up thinking... That they would be disintegrated. You know how by many people way. committed suicide? There were because of the world. No, world. there weren't suicides. Yeah, there were. There were people who uh, did not want to be captured. And that so can't be. Suicide. Yeah, no. that broadcast people, was made in the people, 40s. Yeah. People actually killed themselves because they believed in it so much. I don't. I. I oh, I'm going to sleep now. So you know what's going to happen on this show? We're going to take some phone calls. Or you need to get up. Why? Because. You are a supporting cast member along with Shyster and these other two guys. I don't know what the hell you guys are doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. But we're going to take some calls. We're going to show some videos. We're going to do our little presentation from Of Mice and Men. And we're going to conclude the show and move to the end of television. And that's going to be... Yeah, that's going to be the night. And the, the television is going to be on at 12. That's where we 12 can do whatever we want. That's so where we can curse. If we were 18, we could do a lot more. But Phone call! Oh, Holy crap, it actually worked. Well, then take a phone call. I'm the voice of God. Let's go. Phone call. Hello? Hello? What's up? Hey, can you play the sequel to the air horn? Uh, Do we have the sequel? <laughs> no. There's not a sequel yet. Play the air horn again. 
We can play the air horn again, though. Hey, it's yeah. Weston. What's up, Weston? We can't? I know. Can you hear me? Yeah, well, yeah. I can now. Oh, okay. Well, then. It was silent before. I had to, like... Um, we didn't shoot the sequel yet. But we can show the original. No, I don't even have that. I, I lost it. Do we have anything? Uh, did you bring me the tapes back that you took to New Jersey, or your dad took to New Jersey? I think not. You never asked for them, bro. Should I... Hey, should I just do my of mice and Do the stuff? presentation yeah, we're going to have. Yeah, freaking presentation. These All two. right. All right, I'm going to stand up. Everybody's got to be quiet for a little while because this is a school thing. Okay. Christian, you get on is camera. This, is this a test school class? What? <laughs> Dude, I'm not pulling out my test schools for a school presentation. Christian. Uh, yeah. Did you unlock the uh, camera uh, before you moved it? Yes, it was unlocked. No, you didn't. I didn't see you do it. If it was, un if it was unlocked, that it would move. It's see, still it's unlocked, bro. It just moved up. All right. All you yeah, unlock it more. All right, we all set? We're all set, bro. Okay. Of Mice and Men is a book about uh, two years. Hey! You know, Mark, this is for my school, and uh, it's actually a grade for me, so shut up for ten seconds. One. Just shut no, up! No, 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 shh! Seriously. All right. Of Mice and Men is about a book of uh, queers. A, a pair of friends that are called uh, Lenny and George. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny is a big... Taller, little, slow guy, and George is a small, is a small kind of dark-headed guy who, you know, kind of takes care of Lenny, and has looked after Lenny for a long, long time. Um, the, and I'm supposed to talk about a theme, so uh, I'm trying to think of a theme. Give me ten seconds. All right, friendship. Friendship. Uh, their friendship is obviously very good because George has to put up with uh, Lenny for quite for a long time because Lenny's parents have died. And so is his Aunt Clara. So George must take care of Lenny, and uh, I don't know where I'm going with this yet, so... It's me... friendship! Unbreakable friendship! Unbreakable friendship! Until when we get, until when we get to the end, when uh, George must kill Lenny for his own good he, uh, he accidentally kills a girl because he doesn't know his own strength. He accidentally shakes her and breaks her neck, and he doesn't know what's going on. But he kills him out of friendship. But he kills him out of friendship because it's because it was for his own good. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Exactly. No, he, nevertheless, leading into the comment I previously spoke of. What are you talking about? Never mind. No, no, no. Uh, my, would we like to have the shyster's comment on this? I would like to. I would like to have another person's perspective on this. Yes. Shyster. What do What do you feel? Uh, here, come here. Now, what do you feel is the uh, friendship between those two? Well, clearly, as you stated, uh, what was the character who, uh, what was his name? Who, the character who died? Yeah. Lenny. Lenny, and the other one was? George. That was okay, well, clearly, Lenny was strangling George for his own good. It was in the best interest of their friendship and in the best interest of Lenny. So, therefore, it's a clear example of a well-founded relationship. And that would be my perspective. Mm -hmm. Cuban beast. But what do you what do you think of the times? Now, um, I got a question. Between now and then, now would do you think a friend would actually because they were slow or mentally challenged? If it were for that person's own good, I would hope that person would kill them. <laughs> well, you're obviously a different. I do not believe that a person would kill somebody because they're a bit slower or mentally challenged nowadays. I believe that they would just have them taken care of or put in a home or something. But back then, that just seemed to be have a bit They didn't have the, uh, you know, state facilities or Actually, to take care of that. they did have the state facilities. <laughs> However, which administration abolished all of the mental institutions in the United States? Reagan. Reagan administration abolished all mental institutions within the United States, therefore contributing to a major factor of the homeless, which now plague our streets, of the United States of America! All right, thank you, Mr. Chap and Mr. Chap's class for putting up with me for five minutes. That's my presentation. I'm done. That's very true. I'm sorry. I'm not very much.